good? In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a front and back book cover on Canva. For example, this one right here. Let's say, for example, you're uploading your book onto Amazon KDP and you would like to create a front and back book cover. I'll be showing you step by step how to quickly do that. The first thing you want to do is open two tabs. You're going to open a tab with canva.com and I want you to open a second tab for bookho.com. So you're going to go onto bookho.com. Once on bookho.com, I want you to select KDP Cover Template Generator. After you have done that, you're going to enter in the size of the book, that book cover that you would like to create or the size of the book. So for example, let's say you're creating a book 8.5 by 11, you can input it right here. And the typical journals tend to be around that size. So we are going to input 8.5 and then from here we can input 11. After you have done that, you are going to add the amount of pages. The reason why you are adding the amount of pages is because with this book cover, it is, giving, it is giving you a ratio if you were to print the book. So you can add in the amount of book covers, then you can select the page type. Once you have done that, you are going to scroll down and from here you can enter in your email address, then you are going to tap on email cover template you're going to see the option pop up to offer a donation you'll simply select next time and then continue after you have done that you're going to go to your inbox and you're going to realize that they have emailed you the cover template all i want you to do is simply download the cover template by tapping on download in the top right hand corner after you have downloaded the cover template the most important section is the top left hand corner. As you can see the size right here, so you can see the specific size. So although it is an 8.5 by 11 book, you can see that it is much larger right here to get the cover, the actual cover front and back. So you're going to go into Canva. Once in Canva, you're going to tap on custom size in the top right hand corner. After tapping on custom size, you're going to change it from PX and you're going to change it to MM. Once you have changed it to MM, you're going to enter this size, which would be 439.87 by 285 on my screen right there. So you're going to enter in that size. After you have entered in that size, you'll be redirected to a page like this. Once you are redirected to this page, I want you to go back to the Canva homepage. On the Canva homepage, you are going to tap on the search bar and you are going to type in journal cover. From here, you will be redirected to the template page and I want you to select a template so you can select any one of these templates. So you can select any random template. Let's say, for example, I were to select this one. After you have done that, you are going to tap on customize this template. From here, you can add your own personal touches. So I'll simply change the name right here to simple answers. You can make any changes you want. And this will be the front cover of our book. Then you are going to tap on share in the top right hand corner, download, then select download. Once it has been downloaded, you're going to go back to the other page that you had opened earlier for the template and you're going to tap on uploads from the left hand menu option. From here, you're going to tap on upload files. You're going to upload the cover template that you had downloaded and you're also going to upload the book cover that we had created earlier. So you're going to upload both. So let me do that real quick. So I'm going to upload, this was the book cover and I've uploaded the template already. Now you're going to drag and place the template first on the page. You want to set it as the background. So you're going to tap on the three dots and tap on set image as background. Then you're going to select the entire page, tap on transparency, and you're going to pull that to probably about 23. After you have done that, you're going to select the book cover. Then you can simply pull along to adjust the size. And remember that this middle section is the bleed, so you don't want it to go over that. So you can simply pull it right there. And let's see how it looks. After you have done that, you can select the entire page once more. 
then you are going to tap on the transparency icon and you can carry it to zero now this is the front of our book and this is the back of our book and we have the bleed section in the middle so if they were to fold it it will show perfectly the front and the back you can add something to the back of the book cover if you want you can add text you can add elements for example i could tap on elements and from there i could add a random butterfly and i can adjust the size right here i could also add a text box by tapping on text i could add any text i want then you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner download and you're going to change the file type from png you're going to change it to pdf print after you have done that you're going to tap on download and there it is you now have your front and back book cover that you can upload onto any platform whether it be amazon kdp gumroad any other platform Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.